the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, that we want to do is get rid of the fraction. So what I'm going to expect you guys to do, and again, we'll do this in step by step. Please don't ask a question until you have identified your LCD. If that's your question, then that's fine. Let's talk about that. But we want to find the LCD first. So I remember doing, I remember on the focus lessons, I showed it this way, and I saw a lot of people never even did this. So let's make sure we do this first. Find your LCD first. The LCD is going to be the value that 4, 3x, and 2x are all going to divide into, which in this case is going to be 12x. Now I need to multiply every single term by my LCD. Okay. The reason why that's so helpful is because now all of my denominators divide into that LCD. So 4 divides into 12x how many times? 3x times. 3x divides into 12x 4 times, and that's minus, so it's minus 4, equals 2x divides into 12x 6 times. So just by multiplying by the LCD, do you guys see how I took this crazy equation and now I just made it into something easy? Right? You guys see how simple this is to solve? You guys should be happy. Wow, you guys, that last problem we were solving like quadratics and quadratic formula and it had so many steps. Look it, we just multiplied by our LCD and then it took us to a two-step equation. Right? That's good. Add 4, add 4, 3x equals 10. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 10 thirds. And just leave it like that. Please do not give me frat, uh, decimals. Leave it just like that. Does that make sense, Sam? Mm -hmm. 